I'm back with another haul video and this one is a Matalan haul. Matalan is one of my favourite places to go for homeware and for fashion as well. So this um, haul is a little bit of a mix, bit of fashion, bit of homeware. So let's start with some of the fashion bits I've got. Now, in my other haul, in my Primark haul, I confess that I'd actually worn quite a few of the pieces already and the same is true with these Matalan pieces, but let's be honest, that shows that I actually really like them and I couldn't wait to wear them. So, the first piece I have already had out, taken the tags out and I have worn it into London and do you know what, I had so many compliments on this top and so many people asking where it's from. So, it's this Bardo top, really bright, how nice is this for summer? It's quite bright for me, um, but I just really, really like it. And normally I'm not a Bardo fan either because I can't bear how you have to then walk around like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. But this one's really, really nice. It fits really nice. I've got a size 10, which is my size. And it has these little flute sleeves. So they're not full length sleeves. They're kind of um, not three quarter length, just to about here, I think. Um, and it's got a little flute on the end. You can wear it with um, shorts, jeans, anything. I wore it with jeans to head into London and like I said, I did have lots and lots of compliments and it was really light and comfy to wear. So, and I love the bright color. I just think there's actually trousers um, in the same print and I don't know if I can pull off the trousers. I'm worried that I'll be verging into clown territory, but the top I really, really like. So. This was, um, I have my receipt again so I can tell you all the prices. Because I know people like to know prices. So this was £9, which is a little bargain and a half, I feel. Um, so yeah, already worn that, really, really like it. So the next fashion piece that I bought is another um, off-the-shoulder top, but this one's got little um, straps. Again, I've worn this. I wore it to go to Hannah and Jen's uh, bake sale, and I already um, posted it on my Instagram, um, so you might have seen that. But yeah, it's this really sweet off-the-shoulder um, shirt. It's a really cute kind of candy stripe in peach peachy colour, which I don't actually have anything like this in my wardrobe. Um, it's again got little sort of three quarter length sleeves with a cuff, buttons down at the front and yeah it's got this kind of, it's an off the shoulder shirt look you know, and because of these adjustable straps you haven't got that thing of oh it's constantly falling down because this um, keeps it up so I really like this. Um, you'll see um, from my Instagram picture I wore it, again I wear jeans a lot let's be honest, I wore it with my wide leg uh, jeans with some sandals and a little basket bag and it just looked super cute and I wore with it my absolute bargain Matalan find. Now I can't guarantee that you're going to find one of these in store but it's a headband and I don't normally buy headbands because I find that they like dig in and they give me a headache but I just really liked this one. It's the same kind of like peachy colour and it's um kind of satin fabric with a little twist there and it looked so nice with this top and this headband was a pound. One pounds people in the sales section so get into your local Matalan and forage around in the accessories section where all the jewellery and everything is. See if you can find yourself a bargain headband like me. So yeah, wore these two things together. This was 14 pounds I think. Yeah, 14 pounds. Um, but it's really, really nice, nice light sort of cotton fabric, uh, really lightweight for summer. So I think this came in another colour as well. I'm going to take the headband off. It doesn't go with this outfit. But yeah, bargain headband. A couple of other accessories bits that I picked out, which I may as well show you while we're talking about accessories, is these little um, blue tassel earrings. So in my Primark haul, I showed you a little blue slogan t-shirt that I bought and I said that I'd got some blue earrings to go um, with it. This is the pair, little small tassel set. I, I like a good tassel, but I'm not um, I'm not into those, you know, the really um, big H&M ones that everybody wore. I just can't quite pull those off. So I like a little tassel like these. And then I also bought another pair of earrings, which I think were the same price. I think they were um, £5 as well. Um, yeah. And again, 
These are off the card. I've already worn these twice into London. I really, really like them. They are a hoop. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to see, so I'll try and show you when I do my close-ups. Um, they're kind of like twisted hoop design, a little bit angled hoop, and they're just a bit different. They look really nice. They're quite nice and chunky, and um, yeah, they look nice when I've just got my hair tied back in a ponytail. They just kind of make, you know, add a little bit of interest to my ears, and they're really nice and sort of heavy duty, they look more expensive than they were, that's the good thing about these earrings. And uh, yeah, so I wore these actually with the striped rainbow bardo top, that's what I wore. Carrying on the clothes theme, the last piece of clothing that I bought before I moved on to homeware at Matalan was a dress. And obviously polka dots is massive at the moment and everybody's had, you know, that famous Topshop polka dot dress and then there was the sort of polka dot cami with all the frills on and everything this is such a cute version of the sort of polka dot dress so it looks like a wrap style and if, if you watch my primark haul you'll know that i fell in love with a blue wrap um frill dress with polka dots on sadly as i said in the video i was probably going to take it back i did I just couldn't work out how to wear it without it gaping open at the front and it was such a shame because I really loved the colour. This is so much better because it looks like a wrap dress but it's got stitches in it so there's no way you're going to be like flashing your bits. <laughs> Nobody wants to flash their bits do they? Um, yeah, little tie belt, little frill on the sleeve and this kind of um, contrast polka dot that's really really popular so you've got large polka dot here, small polka dot here. This is so comfy to wear. I got a 12, um, I think I could have got away with a 10, but this dress is super popular, so you might not find it in every single size, um, but the 12 is absolutely fine. It's really nice and loose and comfy, and because it's got a little belt with it, you can tie the belt um, tight to sort of cinch you in at the waist. So I'm gonna wear this with white trainers. I think that'll look really nice in a little basket bag. Good old basket bag, goes with everything. And uh, yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna wear it. So can't wait to wear this one actually. Not worn it yet. I'm treat myself and wear it. Oh, that was, I've taken the tags out though because I did actually wash it. Um, that dress was 16 pounds. So yeah, nice bargain uh, and nice and lightweight for summer. Now the last fashion thing actually I'm gonna show you actually appeared in my Miami holiday haul. But I love it so much that I wanted to show you guys again because you might not have seen it in my Miami holiday haul and also it's back in stock again. Woohoo! This bag was literally an instant sellout online on Matalan and I can totally see why. I saw it in store, fell in love with it and snapped it up for Miami. And it's this basket bag with the most amazing bamboo handle. Uh, palm design on the front it's super big you can fit so much stuff in it um, and off the top of my head I can't remember how that how much this was I will have a look when I edit the video and I will put a little ping here um, which tells you how much it is but I remember it being super cheap for what it is and how stylish it is it's, oh, it's such a good buy and I can see why it's been so popular so I'm so glad that I managed to grab one but the last time I looked it was back in stock online so I'm going to link it for you guys below down in the description box so I just thought I would show you that again I took this to Miami with me and carried it on a couple of days and um, yeah it just looked brilliant so <laughs> I really love it. Um, I just think it looks way more expensive as well. Um, so yeah, good on Matalan. That's Matalan's summer buy, I reckon. That is the thing you need to buy this summer if you don't buy anything else from Matalan. So then yeah, I bought some homeware bits. So I'm doing a little bit of a bathroom uh, renovation. Not really a renovation, just a bit of a freshen up. And it was quite plain in colour and I wanted to give it a bit of interest and a, a bit of a makeover I suppose. So the best way to do that I think with bathrooms is change your towels, change your bath mat, change your accessories, add a couple of candles and boom, you've got a brand new bathroom. So that's what I did and I actually got pretty much everything from Matalan. So I'm gonna show you guys now. So be ready to be super excited by a loo brush. Are you ready? I'm joking. <laughs> so first up was towels. 
I love towels. I think towels can add so much colour to a bathroom and I really love, you know, when you go to a hotel and they're all stacked up. And the best thing about Matalan is the towels and stuff is so cheap that you can afford to buy yourself like a little bale. Um, I love mixing and matching and normally I would mix and match patterns. But I loved these towels so much that I've just bought all the same colour. And it's this stripe design towel. So our bathroom is grey. So we've gone for a grey and um, yellow colour scheme. And uh, yeah, these look so much more expensive than Matalan. Um, and they're so affordable. It's Turkish cotton. So it's, you know, it feels really luxurious. Love the shade of yellow. It's a beautiful shade of yellow. So I've bought a couple of um, the little hand towels, which are great to put on the towel rail, you know, for people to dry their hands on. And then I bought two bath, two bath towels and then one huge big bath sheet. So, and I'm gonna, I've got one of those ladder shelves and I'm gonna stack them up in a little stack, you know? I just, I think it looks great. Um, I'm like Monica, I've got like loads of different towels, you know, towels that are there just to look nice and um, towels that are actually for people to use. And the majority of these will be for just looking nice, but I might let some people use them. But I'm gonna let you know how much these were because obviously they vary in price depending on the size. Um, so, dum, 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 dum. so it goes up from five pounds for a hand towel, which is just brilliant. Seven pounds for a um, the bath towel, which is kind of you know like a standard size bath towel. And then for the really really big bath sheet, it's nine pounds. Nine pounds for a bath sheet towel. I mean that's like cheapest chips that is. And they also had this design in pink and grey as well and it was absolutely gorgeous and I did stand there and debate about whether we should go for yellow or pink and we went for yellow but uh, yeah really really love them and think they're going to look really really nice in the bathroom so yeah big stack of those then I got a new bath mat as well um, because ours is looking a bit tatty and obviously I'm changing the whole colour scheme so I want it all to tie through and they at Matalan have um, all colour coordinating bath mats you can find one in the same design or they had some really cool like geometric ones which I loved as well but I went for this uh, really plain light grey bath mat it's so soft, it's so soft and lovely and then just on the edge is this uh, yellow trim and it's the same mustard as what's on the towel so you just get this little you know flash of colour that ties through the whole bathroom this is £10 it's really super soft really really nice it's just woven backed uh, rather than like rubberized backed um, but yeah oh, so soft do you know what getting out the shower and standing on this will be lovely so that was that, so that ties in with the towels and then a couple of other things that I wanted in the bathroom was a new bin and a new toilet brush. Right, I know that this is like the least exciting purchases, it's like the most adulting haul this ever, but these things are important, you do need them in your bathroom and the brilliant thing is that you can buy them and tie them all in with your colour scheme, so you know, why not show you what I've got and actually Matalan had some really really nice ones, so trying to bring a bit of warmth into the bathroom, into the grey, so I'm trying to bring some elements of wood in. Um, Matalan had these um, items, these accessories with this sort of wood element along with chrome and white and they had little, you know, soap dispensers and whatnot. I didn't need soap dispensers and stuff but you could literally buy the whole set if you wanted. So I've got a toilet brush. I reckon I should make this my thumbnail, don't you think? me and a toilet brush like this. Uh, so this is £8, which, you know, pretty good for a toilet brush. And then I also got whoop, the bin as well. Little pedal bin, hello. Um, with uh, the same kind of wooden lid. And it just, it adds a bit of, I know it's not real natural wood, it's sort of like a fake laminate, but it adds like a natural element into your bathroom. Um, and um, yeah, I just think it adds a bit of a bit of warmth into an otherwise grey and white bathroom. So really happy with that tenner for that one. So to add a few more natural elements into the bathroom, I also wanted a couple of plants. 
in the bathroom and I did get a really, really nice fake one from Matalan. I knew that at the top of my ladder shelf I wanted something that sort of hung down, you know, like a trailing plant and they had this beautiful hanging uh, faux plant. I'm actually not going to hang it but I've kept the hanger on so I can show you guys. So it's got a little rope hanger at the back and it's in this kind of grey um, concrete style pot. And it's a little trailing plant like this. Um, inside it's got like sort of like fake turf. It was £10, bargain and a half. Now, the one thing I will say about it is when I went in store to look at it versus online, in store it looked a little bit more plastic in real life. And I did want it to look realistic, but I don't like having to water lots of plants. So I like fake plants, especially in the bathroom. So my top tip is, this is what I did to mine, is with a little bit of white spray paint, cover up your uh, pot, uh, hide it with either plastic, put a plastic bag on it and just leave the green stuff trailing out. And just from quite high up with a can of white spray paint, just a really light dusting so it sort of dusts down onto it. And what it does is it just mattifies the green a bit and it just gives it that slightly more realistic look. You'll ha you'll be able to see when you see the close-ups of the plant. I'm really, really pleased with it. And just that little thing has just given it a little bit more of a realistic look, but it was still only £10. Um, I think fake plants can be quite a lot of money, especially if you buy the ones that look really super realistic. So I really liked the shape, I really liked the pot, and I was happy just to do that sort of two minute job in it, just to transform it to look a little bit more zhuzhy. Uh, so yeah, really, really like that, and it looks really nice on my ladder shelf. Um, I'm gonna link my blog post in the description box, which will show you the finished bathroom in all of its glory, and um, before and after pictures, so you'll be able to see how all of these things looked in situ. I did actually also get another fake plant, and you might have seen this fake plant already, because it's this guy here. So I'm gonna just go and get him so I can show you. So I bought this. So I bought this and I didn't really know where I was gonna put it, but I bought it because I loved it and I loved the pot. How nice is this pot? This guy, who I suspect needs a name, um, but he doesn't have one yet, um, was £14. So a little bit more expensive than the hanging plant. But, oh, I just think it's lovely. Really textured pot in a kind of um, bluey colour, kind of tealy colour. And the reason I've had it in here in my office is because you might have seen on my Instagram I've mentioned that I'm thinking of covering this chair into a sort of tealy colour. And that's why I bought the pot. I thought it would tie in really, really nicely with it. So... Yeah, really love this. This is going to stay as my little um, YouTube backdrop plant. It also cunningly hides the horrid um, plug socket behind. And yeah, I really, really like him. So any suggestions for a name for my Mr. Plant here will be happily welcomed in the comments section. <laughs> Let's put him back. Hide the plug socket. And then one very last thing that I forgot to show you that I also got from Matalan was a pair of flip-flops. Not hugely exciting, but I bought a pair of flip-flops from Primark uh, for not very much money at all and I've been surprised how much I've worn them. You know, just um, like the plasticky kind of flip-flops. I put them on in the house just to like pad around the house if I want to nip out to put the bins out or anything like that. They're just so good. You just chuck them on. So I picked myself up another pair from Matalan. They're really cute little white pair with this um, pineapple foil design. These were three pounds and they had loads of different designs and they ranged from like three pounds to like five pounds. So yeah, I think these are really, really nice actually. I might keep these, rather than wandering around the house, and I might keep these for actually wearing, you know, out of the house. Uh, but yeah, really love those. So, and that's it. That's everything that I got from Matalan. So it's not the world's biggest haul. There's a little bit of mix and show you some of the pieces 
that I found there in my local Matalan. You can shop online as well at Matalan, but I do love a good wander around in store. I think you can find some bargains, but pretty much everything that I've shown you in my haul, you can find online. So I've linked it all below in the description box. And yeah, do head over to my blog and have a nosy at my bathroom makeover and let me know what you think. And I'd love to know which is your favorite bit from my haul as well. Let me know in the comments. So as always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Loads more videos to come and thank you for watching. Bye. There is a fly like buzzing around my head. It's driving me insane. <laughs>